Well, the U.S. Secretary of Education was in Austin today visiting a private school that's using new technology to teach kids. She stopped by the Alpha School in South Austin to spotlight the importance of artificial intelligence in education. KVU's Daniel Perot is here. And Daniel, the secretary hopes that other schools are inspired by what's happening at Alpha School. That's right, Mark and Ashley. Secretary Linda McMahon spent the day at the private school learning how staff pair AI learning with life skills courses. It's a private school with expensive tuition, but school leaders and the secretary say they want to make this model more accessible to more students. Secretary McMahon started her visit with a student led tour to learn core subjects. The students work one on one with artificial intelligence for the first two hours of their school day. The lessons are customized for every student to make sure they're being challenged and they fully comprehend every lesson. The other six hours of the school day are set aside for learning life skills like public speaking, overcoming rejection and grit. Secretary McMahon says there are many ways to incorporate what Alpha is doing into public schools. Let's be motivated in our states and with our school systems to uh, inspire them to be curious enough to come and understand what is happening here. And I think if I could achieve that goal, uh, we, would, we would come a long way in uh, improving our education. The visit is happening as the state comptroller's office is working to roll out Texas's education savings account program, which allows families to use taxpayer money to help pay for private school. The money will be available next school year. And the $1 billion program is expected to help between 80,000 and 100,000 students in its first year. Alpha school leaders say they are already working with more than 50 districts across the country on how to incorporate parts of their program into their local districts. And coming up at 5 o'clock, you'll hear from the TEA Commissioner Mike Morath on how he says this could shape the future of education in Texas public schools.